is going on guys welcome back to another video here we're in the king ranch right now we still have the truck because we still have not picked up the blue first gen yet and i'll go over all the stuff that they're going to do to it and all the stuff that they ended up doing it's more than just a clutch but i'll go over the fine details once we get the truck picked up Right now we're gonna go wash the King Ranch down just cause it's really salty and dirty after driving it the past week. And then we're gonna fuel this thing up so it's ready to go. And we also got a stack of cash to pick up a new truck today or tomorrow morning. So stay tuned, it's gonna be good. Give you guys a little before here. Got dust and dirt and salt. And it's just, it's just nasty. Well, we got the King Ranch all washed up finally all shiny again bumper to bumper the wheels are clean underbody it's freaking amazing on the road headed to a couple of places actually and if i seem a little bit off at all i have a crippling migraine right now i like never ever ever get these and it, it happens like once I don't know, maybe like once a year I get one that's like this and it, it's just like one of those where like when you take breaths it kind of hurts like that, like it, it's bad. Now we gotta go pick up some venison from the processing shop and then after we pick up the venison, we gotta go pick up the first gen. It's just a lot of maintenance things that just had to be done that they happened to catch while they were in there doing what they were doing and the thing is it's spot on now. I mean it, it's way better off than what it was when we dropped it off. I think about half the things that they did replace uh, they were things that we already knew, like the carrier bearing, that had to be replaced. The clutch, they put a single disc south pin clutch in it. And then there were some other little wear parts that just kind of needed to be replaced. Some gaskets for the rear main seal. He had to put a new seal in there. I can't guarantee that we're going to have that done today. We will for sure have something for you guys Saturday. I'm filming this video on Friday right now on my way to go get the truck. And hopefully Saturday. December 19th you guys can see the video that would be it would, it would be amazing if somehow today on Friday it would work but I just don't see how it's gonna happen with the time that we have to get everything done guys we are on the road we've got the resto gen finally back and this thing runs and drives and shifts and functions freaking amazing now and I want to take a moment to thank the guys and gals over at maximum overdrive transmission again they do amazing work, they go the extra mile, they do all the little things that a lot of places will overlook if they're not paid to do it and it wasn't brought in for those particular reasons. They go above and beyond and they do really, really good work. Again, Maximum Overdrive in Red Key, Indiana. If you have any transmission needs, whether it's a manual truck, an automatic truck, you want a transmission rebuilt, you want to build, you want a clutch put in a, a truck that's got an old wore out clutch, you want an upgraded clutch because you're gonna be putting a bunch of power to it, they do all that stuff. So. Check them out if you need any of that stuff done. And they'll be sure to get you in and get you guys going in the right direction with whatever it is that you need in terms of transmissions and driveline type stuff. We're gonna show you this thing once we get it back to the house. We also picked up another truck last night, but I'm not gonna reveal it in this video just because I gotta say I gotta save something for that next video, that next big thing. In tomorrow's video, we've got a 24 valve to show you guys. So we finally got the RestoGen back, it's unloaded. Let's go over it. So with this truck, we originally dropped it off to have the clutch replaced. And we went with a South Bend single disc and it shifts super, super nicely. They not only did the South Bend single disc, they went ahead and they replaced the U-joints. So you got some brand new ones, brand new grease zerks and all that stuff. Brand new carrier bearing and bracket, all that stuff. And so they did all that stuff just while they were in here. They're like, you know what, we noticed some things that we wanted to get redone um, for you, just so that you wouldn't have to take it somewhere else to have it redone another time. They took care of all that stuff, got it all done. But that's not what the holdup was, because all that other stuff is real small, simple stuff. The holdup was South Bend not sending them the clutch when they ordered the clutch and yanking their chain and taking a while to get it to them. So um, everything else was 
pretty much done and they said that they were just waiting on the clutch to slap it in there and get the transmission bolted back up. Um, that was a holdup. And what they also did was they filled the transfer case with new fluid. They checked the front and rear diff fluids as well. They got this thing to where it runs good, it drives good, and it's just, it's spot on and right where we needed it to be. Couldn't be happier with it. So we're actually gonna take it for a short drive. And I do have a couple more things that we're gonna do to this truck. So like I said, guys, in my post on Instagram and stuff in my previous video, everything that needs done to this truck to complete it, we're gonna do. So the center console, it's still being built right now. It's gonna be done any day now. It's, it was supposed to already be done. Column cover, it's all going in here. The new shift knob, I got a new shift knob for the five speed. That's going on here so you can see what gear you're shifting in and out of. Not that most guys who drive manuals on the regular need it, but it's just something that kind of completes part of the interior. Yeah, just all that small stuff, new front bumper, the new front lift, all that jazz. It's all still going on. You know, it's not like once the giveaway, giveaway ends, it's like, oh, we're not, we're not, you know, finishing the truck. That's not how it works. Everything's still gonna get done. And it'll be done within that one to two week window while we're still waiting to hear back who won the truck. That stuff will all be getting completed. So again, if you guys wanna enter to win this truck, 48 hours left and then the giveaway is over. Right now every $5 is 10 entries and every single order is gonna get cash today. So if you haven't placed those orders, get those orders in so you can get free cash, 10X entries, and somebody's gonna be taking this truck home just shortly after Christmas. Don't waste any time, because uh, you don't have much of it left. The clutch in the truck was just not grabbing good and pretty much when you'd let off and start to accelerate, it would just kind of like engage and disengage, engage and disengage. Like it was just, it was just wore out. They said that the clutch was actually replaced not that long ago, but it was just with a super cheap replacement clutch. It wasn't like an upgraded one, like a like a South Bend. So it just did, it just, it was crap. So it's great now though, according to them. So we're gonna take this on a quick drive and I'll give you my reaction going down the road. Now I'm filming solo, so I don't have any other help to get a different camera angle. And I don't have a GoPro that works because every GoPro I've had is broken in a matter of weeks of buying it. Yeah, this clutch, it, it grabs really good. It grabs really good now. Um, beforehand, it was just a little bit janky, but it, it grabs great. And just the way that the shifter engages into gear is so much better. Oh, and the downshift, it's, it's it's spot on, it's it's awesome. It grabs plenty now. <laughs> now it's kind of hard to film and shift a stick, but I think we can do it just for a real short distance here since we don't have to go very far. So I'm super happy with the way that it turned out. Still just those final things. I made this giveaway so short thinking that I would be able to get everything done before it ended like much quicker. But when you're working solo, it can take a little bit more time than anticipated. And when you factor in shop time and the fact that, you know, little things can come up and delay stuff. Making this giveaway only like 20, 21 days, it sounded like a great idea to have it wrapped up before Christmas. But, uh, I feel like there's going to be some people that are still just kind of like hesitant to want to enter just because of some really, really small stuff that's just not done yet, but it's going to be. Um, but they think for some reason that, you know, we're not going to finish it. The tent's still going to get done. It's still all going to get done over the next one to two weeks while we're waiting to hear back on who won the truck once the giveaway closes. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember, 48 hours left to enter to win this truck. You just place an order on our website and that is it. You're entered to win. It's that simple. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next video.